Remember Octohat? Well, meet Octohat the second. Look at this beauty. This hat could be yours. All you need to do to enter to win this is make sure you subscribe to the channel and there's a link down below in the description to subscribe to my newsletter. I will pull a name from the newsletter to win and I will post you this hat. And then you have a very own Octa hat of your own. Do -do 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 -do. If you can't work out already, it's starting to snow. Which is concerning because I need to get the van out tomorrow. And this is a bit of a steep hill, so if I can't, I'm a bit stuck. I'm running away from the snow and look how beautiful the sky is. We're bound to get a lot of snow really soon and I am not down to get stuck. So I'm going to run over to Big Island and be there as opposed to stuck halfway up a steep hill in the snow. These are huge snowflakes. I wish I could really show you how big they are. <laughs> and then there's this little side window out here that actually you can see out. But the front windows are covered in snow. So quiet. Everything's super quiet. All right. This is centigrade. This is the temperature in here. It's actually dropped a couple of degrees. Time to warm it up. Actually, I need to get another brick. There should be two fire bricks in here. Let me get that. warm in here in no time while the fire is warming up out here i figure i'm gonna go for a walk outside because i'm so excited for the snow that i think i'm just gonna go and go out there because i'm a bit cold so as we get a bit colder and then when the van when i come back the van will be all nice and warm My chimney's got a little hat on. Hee hee hee, it's got a mouth up in no time. Look, I've been out for here for two seconds. <laughs> oh, it's so fun. Snow. Snow. <laughs> Looks like she's got eyelids. Look, this is so cute. Oh, these are some big snowflakes. All dressed up for the cold weather. I have my warm Octo hat on, keeping me warm with tentacles, and my leather jacket, which is lined, and a fluffy coat over top, and many, many layers underneath this. Can you see that? 
Anyway, let's go for a walk. Look, snow is gathering on everything. <laughs> it's going to be gathering on me anytime soon. Look, you can even see it. Little snowflakes. So, snow is pretty magical and special to me because I didn't grow up in a place that snowed. I grew up in New Zealand. New Zealand is temperate. It's about 39, 38 uh, on d degrees away from the, s the equator. Uh, here where I am in Canada is about 49. Um, so we get snow in the winter. Here on the BC coast, we really don't get that much. This is a sniff of snow com compared to what the rest of Canada gets. It's a snoo cheese, a sniff of snow, a, a sneeze of snow. Need to get gloves. Oh, I was there was only a few minutes and my fingers are I mean they're wet and I'm <laughs> wet and snowy and I warm my hands up. This big bag of apples is gonna make amazing apple pie. Yee, I'm so excited about making apple pie. Oh, okay. the face, two eyes and a mouth. From the outside, I can understand that taking photos of some snow isn't a big deal, but for me it is a big deal. I know that it is all up to me to capture the beauty of nature and joy that I wish to share in a way that it deserves. Because when you are sharing something on the internet, and when people can't see or touch something in reality, the film and the photos are everything. So here in the snow in the woods, I make it into my most important job ever to capture the soul of these places and to put them in the right light where people can feel the energy from them, from within them. <sighs> As humans, we tend to procrastinate and fear big upcoming tasks or challenges that come our way. But as we all know, repressed feelings and problems often grows bigger in the end. Whoops. 
Oopsie, that was slippy. I really literally feel like I've landed in Narnia. I nearly got a face full of snow. Pain and discomfort makes us resilient. I think the key to whatever you're doing is to do it as if your life depended on it. I know for sure that I'm going to create something I'm really Burr. proud of if I immerse myself in the process when I'm out filming or doing photography and I'm freezing my ass off without even noticing. That's when I know I'm on the right path to capture something beautiful. I love this forest so much. Beautiful. Being really uncomfortable is like the secret ingredient to having something <laughs> really beautiful unfolding in your life. Crazy seagulls. Just sitting in the water. There's like well, this. Oh, what's left of that salmon carcass I showed you earlier? Two salmon carcasses, still there. Look, it is thick and dense with snow. It's a sign that you're growing and evolving and learning something new about yourself. Time to leave the river. I gotta go get warm and dry. I'm very cold. All right. I'll look for animal prints on the way back in the snow. So I'm sometimes when I'm working on something and I'm asking myself, am I feeling uncomfortable now? If the answer is yes, I certainly feel uncomfortable right now. Then I'm like, good, Flossie, keep on going. You will thank yourself later. That's a lot of snow. Whee! Do you know how nice it is to have a wet room, a mud room in my van? Do this so I can see you. <sighs> I'm all rosy cheeked and red from the cold outside, so it's time to get warm. Okay. <sighs> Isn't that a good sight to see? And look, it's almost 20 degrees in here. <sighs> and I got a hot cup of a hot cuppa. Look. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Okay. I'm gonna warm up my fingers because I have only a glove on one hand. And I'll see you soon. I hope you're enjoying winter as much as I am and bundle up, get out, walk around. And if it's summer where you are in the Southern Hemisphere, I cannot wait to be there very soon. Bring it on, I gotta take all this wet gear off.
there's something about winter and the snow and everything being bright and lit up that just refreshes me. It takes away that gloomy winter blues and it just sends a sparkle into everything and I get seasonal depression pretty bad so I have to take vitamin D, I have a full spectrum light that I use uh, to look after my mental health. Um, but getting outside and getting a little bit cold is good for me. It feels really good. I am so happy that I have a really good duvet, blankets. I do not get cold overnight. The fire does go out and I only have a very brief period of like chilliness when I get out of bed, scrunch my little toes and get the fire lit and often I'll hop straight back into bed. Um, I didn't today because I wanted to go outside and everything was looking beautiful and shiny and sparkly and inspiring, um, but quite often that's what I'll do. Um, I'm hoping to have my diesel heater installed very soon after I get my lithium batteries set up in the van and then I'll be able to lie in bed, press a button, turn the diesel heater on, warm the place up and then get up and light the fire later. We'll get there. Next winter is going to be a whole lot easier. It's been a bit challenging, those cold, cold mornings, but it's only for like a tiny period of time and I feel like it keeps my resilience up to be able to deal with that and I don't know. I'm not in a complaining mood today. I'm in a really cheery, happy one. I hope you find ways in your life to enjoy winter, to find moments of beauty and things that really excite you and that you find inspiring. Um, whether it inspires creative creativity or just joy, life is such an adventure and I've had some pretty freaking low moments in the last little while, so it's really, really amazing to feel joy and to feel inspired and uplifted by something as simple as snow and sunshine making it sparkle. Anyway, Octo Hat says, Octo Hat says, bye. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, get reach out a tentacle, smash that button, and a huge thank you and tentacle love from Octohat and I to our Patreons. Thanks so much for watching. See you later. Bye.
here in the snow and feeling and seeing the nature and feeling how it is resilient through this season gives me the courage to face the storm within myself when I need it the most. I think it's more important than ever not to hide away from things that are uncomfortable or not to get stuck in old patterns or ways of believing things just because it feels safe. But instead to go right into that storm of emotions or fear or whatever it may be and face the things that make you uncomfortable and feel it with your whole self. Bring it up to the surface so that you can release it and allow the storm to clear your path. I know it's easier said than done and most of the time words like these just stay as inspirational words but right now I'm trying my best to live to capture, to feel, to express. So my friend, are you watching this right now? Keep on, one step at a time. We will get through this together. And remember, you are not alone. Whatever you're going through right now, it's going to be all right. You are meant to go through storms. We can do this together. Good morning. It took me a very long time to get out of bed this morning. It is cold, but warming up. Everything is starting to melt. <sighs> My water tank has been frozen for a couple of days. So hopefully it melted a little bit yesterday and I managed to drain some of it. And hopefully we'll drain today. And I am so, so happy I have two doors on my van, the back door and the sliding door, because today I have to chisel it open. As the snow melts, it comes down the door 
and overnight it froze in the door jam. And this has happened before, so I'm not worried or upset, but Let me show you the little rivulet of ice that has been freezing my door shut. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I really hope you enjoyed gallivanting around in the snow like a forest pixie that I am with me. I hope you are bundled up warm and cozy like I am with my fireplace on. I hope you have a warm winter and start leaning into rest and slowing down and hot drinks and soups and just I guess right now I'm feeling a lot of gratitude for where I am, the fact that I'm warm and dry and have a safe place to be and doing, starting to do a little reflection on my year that has been, what has 2020 been and what do I wish and dream for for 2023? Wow. Um, and I'm excited to take you all along with me for the adventures of 2023. Like, it's going to be wild. In less than a month, I hope to be boarding a plane, heading to sunny Southern Hemisphere. <sighs> oh my gosh, it is just an insane idea to think about. So thanks all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a big, huge thumbs up if you did and hit the button, the bell, the bell down below if you want to. You don't have to. Nobody's here to make you. And I'll see you next week when I post next week's video. Thank you so much for watching. See you later. Bye.